If you are looking for quality, reliable, completely custom Kydex holsters for all of your airsoft and firearm needs, email customkydexworks at gmail.com. Enjoy the video. We're back. Remember what I said last episode? Customization of the ship. Everything in this ship is subjective and can be changed at any time. You can make this ship a small cube, or you can make this ship a gigantic labyrinth. Now me, I'm not going to be remodeling anytime soon, so I'm simply going to add a pilot wave radio right next to the airlock so I don't have to walk all the way into this room to activate it. And you know what? Why not just add a toilet? Use the decryption key. Incoming transmission. Vanguard. Rodina, please respond. Rodina, this is Vanguard. Please respond. This is Rodina Comms. We read you. Give us your status. We saw you make a clean entry into the healer sphere, and then everything cut to black. Be advised, Rodina. We have hostile Xeno contact. Repeat hostile Xeno contact. We are repelling fire from two correction three unknown vessels. Some kind of energy weapons. Took out half of our pl plating before we even disengaged the liminal drive. That's not possible. The system's empty. We've got long range data going back 40 years on this. It's always been empty. Can you evade? Re engage liminal? Negative. We have lost primary pilot, muscle navigation in the first volley, so we're flying blind. Liminal drive is down. Computer auto check with everyone on the starboard side. Trying to get some distance under conventional thrust, but they're right on us. Lightning's at 40%. We need help. What can you give us? I'm not sure I understand what you want exactly. We're still five or six years away, Colonel Sweet. We can monitor, but not as not much else beyond that. Science division says Xeno is a negative. It must be another colony group. Maybe someone found a faster trajectory to the system? Can you identify any markings? These are Xeno hostiles, Regina. Pete, these are Xeno hostiles, little green men. Lighting's at 30%. We need to burn your food reserves or move to a faster trajectory or I don't know. Try to blow out their transmitters with their comms. Do something, damn it! Negative. Wants to risk the entire mission with untested trajectory? Are you crazy? We've got millions of likes here, and we're not exactly nimble. Hold the frequency. I'm getting word from command. Okay, Vanguard, I have order for you. We need you to get as close to the hostiles as you possibly can, and then detonate your warp drive. That comes directly from the head cancel. We need to take the hostiles out or cripple them if possible. So fuck you, Rodina! Plating's at 10%. I'm watching all life pods and ordering a core eject in the opposite direction. If the hostiles follow the core, we may be able to get a few life pods into the astral plate. Um, Hi, detonate your own fucking drive. Come on, live. Do not core eject, Vanguard. Repeat, do not core eject. The whole plan is on those cores. If they break the encryption, they will have everything. Everything. All of our tech. All of our landing sites. You're screwing three generations. Thousands of years of technology and lives here, Vanguard. 3% plating. It's done. Good luck, Regina. Vanguard. Vanguard. Come in. Respond, Vanguard. Any surviving Vanguard crew, this is your colony ship, Rodina. If you are still receiving comms, it is imperative that you contact us on private frequency 43.693769. Your survival and our survival depends on you communicating with us. This message shall repeat. End buffer dump. Wow. The single, single player story, while optional, is still incredibly fleshed out and well written, even though there are some grammatical mistakes, but it is understandable as this is an indie game. So I shall forgive that. Motley pilot ship. Excuse me for a second.
and we're back. We're going to explore more asteroids. Try to surprise him. Shit, I miss. So much for the sneak attack. Let's go full on. Brute force. Damn, this guy's good. Where is he? Alright, he's down, he's down. Alright, let's see what the loot's at. Saved it though. Alright, let's move forward and put her down. Landing is extremely unprofessional in this game, but hey, it works. So I'm not complaining. There aren't even any landing gears, but I can forgive it. There's probably gonna be some smoke coming from the down ship. You can hear the burning. Maybe there's some missiles. Empty crates. Empty. Let's see what this is. It's a communication encryption key. At the spaceport, one out of three. Adding to archives. Damn it. Low gravity is killing me. Head back. Loot more asteroids. You're going to be doing a lot of looting in this game, and I'm going to tell you now, it does not necessarily get old, because while you have to loot to survive in the beginning, you're going to be looting on a massive scale once you get armed up. I'm talking entire planets you're going to explore on foot, by ship, doesn't matter. It's crazy, really. The scale of this game is massive, and of course the graphics are subpar for an indie game, and some of the blocks and textures are a bit kind of 8-bit blocky, but I can forgive that because this is a gigantic, gigantic open scale. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I need to get back in the ship. Come on, you piece of shit. Fall. Fall. This isn't good. Shit, I hit him. Alright. Where is he? Where is he? Seeing the fire. As you can tell, the bullets are extremely blocky, but I can forgive it because the game is so massive. Alright, alright, take go down. I'm sorry I keep getting off track, it's just, when you're out of your ship, you don't get a gun, so there's nothing you can do to defend yourself against the enemy. Well, I will continue on my previous topic next episode, as I have to end it right now, or else Bandicam will stop recording mid-sentence. So, until next time, I suppose.